Okay, so I've been thinking a lot about YouTube as a job lately, mainly whether or not I'll ever be good enough to have that, but that's for down the road. I've been paying attention to a lot of my favorite creators, paying attention to the style they've adopted, the jokes they've made, the people they've met, and the content they've created, and I've come to a conclusion. There are almost no good creators on YouTube anymore. And before I go on, let me just say, there are some amazing YouTubers out there. Some that come to mind are Naked oh, Jacob, uh, Video Ooh, Game Muskrat, Matt Schlack, So Long, All of them are really fucking good. Nobody seems to make YouTube videos. No. <laughs> Nobody seems to make videos to show memories anymore, to try and live experiences and shit. And I know, I know it sounds very white Twitter girl thread to say, but it's how I feel. And trust me, I've been feeling a lot of feelings because uh, as, my, as my homies in the industry like to say, uh, 2021 is the new 2020 and all my homies hate 2020. Fuck 2020. Okay, side rant that kind of segues into the next uh, part of the video. But I totally fucking miss those days that Vanoss would upload videos that my little 14 year old brain would somehow think were funny. Where, where they would literally just like sit there laughing their asses off about fucking fart jokes in a Gmod map with fucking Dragon Ball Z dumb shit. It was amazing. You know, I, I got a really warm, ooey gooey feeling from Mini Lad, and I know that, uh. <clears throat> Let's just say that uh, that's not like the you know most comforting thing to say right now in light of what type what type of person he turned out to be. But you know that's just how the fuck cookie crumbles or whatever. But I, I totally miss that shit, man. You can't you can't go wrong with that. And it just kind of hurts to see that you know some of my old uh, creators either got themselves into some pretty deep shit or just you know never evolved as creators. And some of them did a pretty okay job, but you know. They're kind of in that little weird uh, teenage rebellious stage of their career. And that is not, uh, that's not where I'm at, you know? <laughs> that's not where I'm at at all. I try to look at my favorite content creators and see what I can do better. I see their successes and failures and try to learn, but fuck, it just seems like any more, any days, nowadays, fucking all the days, the lazy days, it seems like all they're trying to do is play games with their friends to get clips. It's, it's, it doesn't seem... Like, genuine. Me and my friends have this running joke right now where they like to say NSFM, VEMW words, uh, not safe for my virgin ears, mommy. What? The joke is, oh, he can't use that clip now, and part of me is like, I'm gonna break my monitor, I swear! But the main part of me can't help but move to a million other thoughts, uh, kind of reminiscent of my acknowledging nostalgia video. Don't forget to add the card. Just gotta wait for it to get done processing. I just kind of sit cool. there and think and think whether a bad or good night playing games every single night that I spend with my friends online is another memory. And that's really where my draw for making videos comes from. I want to conserve their memories and add some funny twists so I can always come back and laugh or whatever. And to me, it's kind of how I feel about every single day. I lose focus and think about coworkers I've had, friends from school, weekends where my friends get blasted and start screaming, crying that my puppy is suffering in its crate and how he just wants to sleep in his car. No, Logan. <laughs> I think about stupid political rants I had at 7 in the morning working in a shitty factory job with people 20 years older than me, and before you know it, I'm being existential at 2.20 in the morning <laughs> with my shirt off listening to Lo-Fi typing a script for a video that started off about how there are no good content creators because I lost focus. To be completely honest, I love creating content. I know I only have 17 subscribers and my most viewed video right now is a clickbait hentai game, but I still love putting it together and seeing the final product. Even if this video never gets the views I'd like it to, I know that I'll watch back and love that I made it in the first place. And personally, I don't think that most content creators feel the same way. Having to fixate the social conformity and fear of being canceled, forcing themselves to play the same games hundreds of times, and getting so big they feel they need to become corporate because fuck corporate in content. I can't think that I could ever say this enough in any fucking lifetime and any fucking shadow plane of existence. Fuck corporate and content. You know why I love Dunky, Soviet, Womble, PewDiePie, and other amazing gamer girl channels? Because they're solo. Sure, they have support in some ways that help them put videos out, but they don't have a manager or a PR team as far as I know. It's a homebound, warm type of vibe I get from watching them. I don't aspire to be them, I aspire to give that to another kid somewhere out there. That's, that's really bad phrasing. 
Dude, are you fucking? Kidding yeah, no, no, I know. I know I, no, seriously. Yeah, I, mean, where I, the fuck I know. I was, I was just, so I was just, li- dude. Dude, no, I don't fucking care. I, I was just saying. Care. I was just saying. It was, it was bad wording. Whatever. God. I feel like I've gotten this off my. Fuck you. I feel like I've gotten this off my chest, but I'll probably still complain about it somewhere down the road. That's fine. You should uh, check my channel out and leave a subscribe and a doggy bag on fire. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's just dog shit. I'm gonna go play Assassin's Creed and contemplate my next strategic move. Make sure to get your daily intake of testosterone and, uh, estrogen. Uh, bye. <laughs>